Hi guys, this is DIY Mom, and today I'm going to show you how to wallpaper, or at least how I wallpaper in order to do it as quickly and as efficiently as possible while Lennon is napping. Here's what you need for your statement wall. One badass roll of wallpaper, a plastic wallpapering tool, clear adhesive, a paintbrush, an X-Acto knife, and you may also want to have a measuring tape, scissors, and a pencil or pen. I've moved all of my bedroom furniture away from the wall so I have enough space to work from. I'm going to start from the corner of the room and work my way that way. First things first, you want to make sure you're starting with a nice clean wall. Got my wallpaper here. I bought this faux wood rustic wallpaper from Amazon and I think it's going to look really nice behind my upcycled bed. Even if my walls aren't level or if the lines aren't straight, I'm just gonna kind of work with it and adjust the paper as I go. This is not a self-adhesive wallpaper. It requires wall adhesive. I've only ever worked with wallpaper that has the adhesive. The wallpaper that comes with the adhesive already, you have to get wet and it's really messy to work with. So I'm hoping that this maybe isn't as messy. I'm gonna take my measuring tape and measure from the top of my wall to the baseboard. The measurement is 52 inches, so I'm gonna cut 53 inches just to make sure I have a little bit of extra room to work with. Okay, now that I have cut my wallpaper uh, piece that I wanna put up, I am going to put the adhesive on the wall with paintbrush. I'm gonna put it right into the corner because I don't wanna risk it peeling away. I got a nice big wide brush because I was sort of hoping it would save me a little time. Slide it into place and right into the corners. I like to sort of slide and push it. Then I take my fancy little tool here. We're leveling off the wallpaper, getting all the air bubbles in. And I like to sort of start from that side and work it down. Now the great thing about a wallpaper like this is that I don't have to worry about matching the gradient because it just starts over again here. Next week I'm gonna do a wallpapering in my daughter's room which requires a little bit more technique in, in matching up the pattern. So I'll show you how to do that next time. And then I like to run my hand over it just to see if there's any air bubbles that I miss. Well, that was pretty easy, now I just have to repeat. Once my wallpaper is up, I use my X-Acto knife and the wallpapering tool as a straight edge to clean up the top and the bottom and remove any excess wallpaper. I use a wet cloth to remove and clean any additional adhesive. Okay, well, um, yeah, I gotta say that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about my choice of wallpaper. And it only takes a couple hours to do a small accent wall like this. So it was perfect for nap time, a perfect afternoon activity. And um, now I can enjoy my new bedroom. Good job, mommy. Money, 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 money.